I'm Ed Taylor, professor in the College of Education. I'm dean and vice provost of undergraduate at academic affairs at the University of Washington here on the Seattle campus. I have the great honor of being here with Mark Mimuti Joseph, who's vice president of social impact at the Kennedy Center and artistic partner at MENI Center. You're working with this theme this year in collaboration with the MENI Center, mm -hmm. artistic joy mm -hmm. and collective wellness. Let's just break those words down a minute because you're a man of, of words. Sure. Artistic joy, mm -hmm. collective wellness. Yeah. Wellness can be something individualized, but it can also be something that is collective. Mm -hmm. Talk about the meaning of those words and how you enact that concept of artistic joy and collective wellness. Yeah, well, um, you know, I, I like to say that I don't believe in art that doesn't bleed mm -hmm. or sweat or cry. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's maybe it is ancestral, um, but the evidence of labor in terms of art and creative practice is really central to me. So in the same way that um, labor is evidence of artistic practice, um, I think um, very often using joy as a North Star or as an emanating force or kind of animating force for why it is that we make art is also really important. In this case, joy is really a, a corollary to inspiration. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, locating artistic practice, um, kind of um, emanating from joy in service of civic inspiration or systemic inspiration is kind of, um, I, I think, the foundation of um, of that part of the phrase. And then collective wellness is really just speaks to the interdependence of well-being that's necessary for a healthy society. There, there has to be mutuality and um, energetic reciprocity if we are to be a, a, a healthy society. These are powerful words, mm -hmm. interdependence, mm -hmm. reciprocity, yeah. the public nature of our healing and, yes. and wellness. Yeah. I wanna go into, in a, in a moment, how all of that manifests in your work with Meany. Right around the time that um, George Floyd was killed in 2020, um, my partners at Sozo Media and I started talking about healing forward. And we framed our work um, not in terms of um, an anti-racist ambition, but the ambition of systemic allyship. And, and we held a kind of mini conference about systemic allyship. Michelle attended the conference. And um, I, I think what we had to say and the way that we held space really resonated um, with her. And so she was curious about um, taking on a, a more prolonged relationship um, with this language and with these practices. And what that ultimately yielded, um, I think, was a theory of change that really centered wellness on campus. We wanted to think about the health of students transitioning from their high schools or even from their undergraduate experiences um, into a not quite post-pandemic um, reality and how the arts and wellness and a, a direct and stated theory of change could all work together. And this theme of, of artistic joy and, and wellness came about in your conversation with Michelle. You both co-created co that concept? Well, it, it really came about with uh, as a result of conversations with the entire staff. So Michelle um, participated in our um, initial three-day retreat. Um, uh, her um, compatriot at, at Meany, Sarah, also participated in, um, in this. But we spent a year working with the entire staff of the Meany Center um, thinking about these principles. So um, tell me the things that are going to be coming up in the coming months in your collaboration with Meany. What are some of the ways in which this is going to be enacted? Yeah, we, you know, we started um, with a conversation um, that uh, featured the leads of, um, you know, directors um, um, and deans and um, 
you know, an assortment of folks from all over um, campus running various programs from, um, you know, the School of the Built Environment to um, galleries on campus. Um, to the College of Arts and Sciences, just a just a really spectacular array of folks that um, I call a creative ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, nature loves diversity, yeah. Yeah. and so does culture. Yeah. Um, it takes many different kinds of minds um, operating in very many different kinds of ways to actually produce a, um, a healthy cultural and intellectual landscape. You brought together leadership of the campus schools and colleges that often don't always speak to yes. each other and students and, and staff at, at the university yes. as well as community members. And mm -hmm. you posed some questions to us. I, I got to participate in that. Yeah, and one yeah. of those questions was the experience of being free. What are the two yeah. questions that, that are worth repeating here that you invited us to think about? Yeah. I, I, One had to do with, with the experience of freedom, the other mm. about structuring one's life. Yeah, I, the, the first question, the leading question is, when in your American life have you felt most free? Yep. It's a question that comes out of a broader inquiry that I'm doing about the Declaration of Independence, given that uh, 2026 will mark the 250th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. The second question, which is what tools or protocols or programs or policies or relationships have you developed in service of that feeling? Now, this is a way of thinking about um, collective well-being just a little bit differently. It is to center this idea of freedom and then um, thinking pretty hard about how you scaffold your um, own life, your own behaviors in order to serve that feeling of freedom. I, I think one of the things that we wanted to make sure to say was that the relationship between arts and wellness isn't linear. Um, and it, it isn't necessarily predicated upon analysis of artistic outcomes. What I mean by that is like, you don't have to see a dance and think about how it makes you well. Um, in this case, artist modality, artist inquiry, artist interrogation, the, the, the ways and methodologies that um, kind of artists um, operationalize in order to make art can also be used to think about how institutions make policy. In many cases, culture precedes policy. So to have this culture of inquiry that's really rooted in emotion and memory um, and to um, develop policy and discourse out of that is really what I'll be doing here through um, lectures, through conversations, through performances, and through community gatherings over the course of the next year. The way you're framing this, there's no walls between the community and the university. Mm -hmm. We are, we are co-constructing, co-engaged, mm -hmm. and, um, and engaged in this collective the, um, liberatory pedagogy as you described. Mm -hmm. So what are ways in which the community can access beyond UW. What are the ways folks in UW can can participate? But what are the ways that members of the community can be involved and engaged with you yeah. and with this project? Um, I believe in a culture of invitation. I, I like to say that I had the best thirtieth birthday party ever. Um, at my thirty for my thirtieth birthday, um, I asked twenty people that I am inspired by um, one question, and that question was. If you could start a culture with 20 people, um, who would you start the culture with? And I said, bring three of those people to my house on my birthday, and I'll take it from there. This idea, again, as a kind of antecedent, um, as a kind of seminal inquiry, who do you want to start a culture with? And then the idea that you invite from there is part of what we're bringing in this borderlessness or this more kind of permeable way of, of working. So I do want to ask, so you'll spend a year engaged with me and with the university and with our community. Mm -hmm. After a year and you look back, what's your hope for what we may have accomplished together? 
how will we know that we have done good work together? Well, let's start with when we look back. When we look back. Yeah, because, you know, you look back after a year and you may not recognize much growth. Um, but I'm going to be 48 soon. I'm not the same person I was at 38. I'm not the same person I was at 28. I'm not the same person I was at 18 or 8. Um, over time, if we're lucky, if we're um, privileged with breath, we grow, we change. Um, so w rather than looking back after a year, what I encourage folks to consider is the horizon, is to say, is, is to be intentional about the seeds and you know that that we're planting through these conversations and so forth and um, think about a, a five-year horizon or a six seven year horizon um, and what are we feeding ourselves right now in order to be the body politic that we um, wish to be so seven years from now um, you know, the language of joy as just kind of part of the pedestrian vernacular of the university is something that um, I think we desire. The, the language of collective responsibility, um, I, 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 I hope that is just a literacy that we all share. Um, we talked about safety and we talked about possibility um, I think those are two very powerful nodes that speak to both our collective well-being um, and also um, uh, an artistic perspective. Um, I, I, I hope that part of the health of our student body, our staff, our, our faculty is um, more steeped in this idea that we don't have to just produce, uh, we have to produce possibility for ourselves and for one another. I heard a lot of things in, in our moment together. Um, the production of possibility, systemic change, the role of, of pedagogy at a systemic level, mm -hmm. and the role that hope plays in all of that, the mm -hmm. interdependence between it all. Um, it all sounds so complex, but then I heard you mm -hmm. invoke just the, the breath and creating space to, to be together to mm -hmm. breathe together and be present in the moment. Yeah. I want to thank you for your partnership. Thank I want to you, thank sir. you for the time that we're about to spend together. Right on, I want to thank you for the brilliance that you will bring out of all of us in this coming year. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. Thank you, sir.